first thing I want to say is I totally agree with that introduction. <laughs> Let's hear it for Senator Mike Sanchez. He's the most powerful senator in New Mexico as majority leader. And he made sure that Valencia County is getting the best priorities. I'm also very happy to be in the most important city in New Mexico, Peralta, New Mexico. And I was very happy to support Peralta being incorporated and getting a building. Is, is this a building? <laughs> you know, I wanted to just tell you how pleased I am to be here in Valencia County. We got a lot of important people that I think we're recognized. Let me recognize two others. One, uh, he's done a great job as chairman of the state fair, Frank Tabbitt. Give him a big hand. And the other he is executive director of the state racing commission. So if you want a casino or a track, go see Julian Luna. He's done a great job. And of course, I see Luke Otero here from the state fair commission. I know that uh, we've got a great, great county chairman, Valencia County. He's the Emilio Naranjo of Southern New Mexico, Moises Griego. And when Moises says he's going to get you 80%, he gets you 103%. So he always comes through. The other representative from this area, making Valencia County one of the strongest, strongest delegation, is Elias Varela. Don't forget Elias. He's got a good race. He's going to win, but he is somebody that has done already great things in the legislature. Let me talk about Andrew Barreras. The first thing I want to say about Andrew is he has an advantage in Valencia County. He has a total of 600 relatives that vote for him. And when you have that advantage, and you're a small businessman, he owns a pizza shop, an ice cream shop. He knows what it is to deal with credit and finances and budgets. But he's also got integrity and intelligence. And he won a narrow race two years ago. And now, even though it looks good, I saw some polling, we need to make sure that we send Andrew Barreras back to the legislature. Yeah. 